So we're going to do a crash course of Next.js and uh, Next.js is basically a React framework for production. Uh, now if you had to build everything in React then a lot of stuff you have to do on your own. But Next.js kind of gives you all of those things out of the box. For example server side rendering, uh, you know, prefetch, route prefetching. So there are several benefits that Next.js offers like image optimization, internationalization. It also gives you analytics so you can check what is, how is your site performing uh, in terms of Lighthouse score on the based on the real visitor data page by page inside and it's zero configuration. So when we're going to install and set up Next.js you'll realize that it's just going to be a single command and it's going to set up the entire React application for you. And like I said, it offers the SSG and SSR. Uh, so SSG is basically pre-rendering the pages at the build time or SSR, which means uh, it's going to request time in a single project. So you have both the options available, which we will get to in, in the later episodes. Then you have incremental static regeneration, which means that uh, they add and update this statically pre-rendered pages incrementally after the build time which means at build time it's going to fetch all of the data if it needs to and then uh, if the user requests some data if the user requests the page is going to serve the cached pages and then uh, for, for future request uh, it can also update that data and serve the updated page so data is never stale you have TypeScript support which we won't be covering so we'll go with the react option but you could use TypeScript also. Uh, you have fast refresh so if you are making any changes in the file then it's going to automatically get updated so you don't have to really refresh the page so you get a live editing experience. And then you have the file routing system which means when you are creating your pages like slash about slash contact us. So if you are just working with like create react app you have to use the router to handle all of those routings but in Next.js if you just create a file called about.js under pages directory it will automatically create the route for you so you don't have to do anything. Next thing it's a built-in CSS support which means you don't have to install a bunch of packages for CSS to work it just supports it out of the box. Then you have the code splitting and bundling so it kind of offers the optimized bundle optimized bundle splitting algorithm which means uh, it splits the code and bundles and ships it what's necessary. So so basically these are the benefits that Next.js offers and can you see such big companies are using it. Netflix is using it, GitHub, uh, Twitch is using it, Docker, Hulu, InVision. Such big companies are using Next.js and, and you can always check their showcases uh, to see what are the different sites that are available. See this TikTok one. Uh, TikTok is using it, uh, then you have the Netflix Jobs is using it, Twitch is using it. So there are a lot of big companies that trust Next.js and they are actually using Next.js. So it is really really popular and uh, it's getting better day by day. So definitely something to dig into.